We've seen that regular sets over a single symbol alphabet, say sigma contain just x, are characterized by the fact that they're ultimately periodic, meaning that if a is any regular set over sigma, then there exist n greater than or equal to 0 and l greater than 0, such that for all k greater than or equal to n, x to the k is in a, just when x to the k plus l is in a. These were due to the structure of the accessible states for any DFA over a single symbol alphabet, some tail of length n greater than or equal to 0, followed by some loop of length l greater than 0. Looking at which powers of x are accepted, once we hit that loop we see a periodic pattern. At any power x to the k starting with k equals n, x to the k and x to the k plus l will either both be in a or both not be in a. Adding l to the exponent goes exactly once around the loop, and thus our DFA gives the same result of accept or reject. More generally, we could say the same thing if we added l to the exponent any non-negative number i of times. x to the k will be in a, just when x to the k plus i l is in a. In fact, this property of ultimate periodicity characterizes regular sets over a single symbol alphabet. A set over x is regular just when it has this property. We can use ultimate periodicity to show that certain subsets of x star are not regular via proof by contradiction, as follows. Given a subset a of sigma star that we want to show is not regular, suppose to the contrary that a is regular, which allows us to conclude that some fixed n greater than or equal to 0 and l greater than 0 exist with the above properties. The game is to find some power k of x that is in the set a, but such that the power x to the k plus l, or more generally, some power x to the k plus i l for i greater than or equal to 0 is not in a. Or technically vice versa. This would contradict ultimate periodicity, and thus would allow us to conclude that our set a is not regular. For our first example, let a be the set x to the 2 to the k, where k is greater than or equal to 0. That is to say, strings of x's of length some power of 2. Powers of 2 grow, literally, exponentially, so there's no way this set of strings could eventually fall into a periodic pattern. Let's see how to explicitly use proof by contradiction to show this set of strings is not regular. Suppose it were regular, then there exists some n greater than or equal to 0 and l greater than 0, so that for all k greater than or equal to n, x to the k is in a, just when x to the k plus l is in a. With these values n and l in hand, our goal is to find some power of x in a, such that adding l to the exponent yields a string not in a. Finding strings in A is easy. They're just x to a power that's a power of 2. That is, they have the form x to the 2 to the k for some k. The only question is, which k should we take? Well, first of all, we need our power 2 to the k to be at least n to get into the repeating part of the set. So we want 2 to the k greater than or equal to n. Now, the idea is that the bigger k is, the larger the jump from the element x to the 2 to the k to the next element x to the 2 to the k plus 1 will be. We want this jump of 2 to the k plus 1 minus 2 to the k, in other words, 2 to the k, to be strictly greater than l, so that jumping forward by l falls short of the next element of our set a, and thus we'll have x to 2 to the k in a, but x to 2 to the k plus l not in a. We have two things we want from our power 2 to the k. First, that it's at least n, and second, that it's strictly larger than l. So we can simply choose some k such that 2 to the k is greater than the maximum of n and l. To finish, let's check that we have a contradiction. By definition, x to the 2 to the k is in a. And since 2 to the k is greater than or equal to n, we know that x to the 2 to the k plus l is also in a by ultimate periodicity. But 2 to the k plus l is greater than 2 to the k, and 2 to the k plus l is less than 2 to the k plus 2 to the k, which is 2 to the k plus 1. So this power x to the 2 to the k plus l is not x to some power of 2, and thus by definition is not in a. Thus, ultimate periodicity fails, so our set A must not be regular.